I'm struggling with your energy. Yeah. 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 Energy, I'll go back to post-workout nutrition. I think it's imperative that you maybe really address that. You know, um, and look at what I was asking the other ladies' question. But also your meal following that as well. Yeah. The, the trouble is, it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm with martial arts, so we go to the pub and have two guineas afterwards. You know what I mean? So I'm well, not doing my blood sugar anymore. You know what I mean? Well, that's not good. You know what my blood sugar is, don't you? Know, Good fruit by the it's not too. <laughs> no, seriously, it would be, obviously, address that. That would be your problem with the energy levels, okay? That's also not going to have a way, is it? Yeah, yeah. well, uh, I just say... It'd be an easy client, you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, I think you just have to look at your portion, just look for your diet, look at your portion sizes, but, you know, just address them with a bit of frozen waste concern. Cut out the Guinness, not cut it out, cut it right down, yeah. um, and look at your post workout for energy levels. And things like that. Yeah, I, I know the British tradition of martial arts now as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard, I don't know how often it's. Yeah, give it a point out, say we're young. Now, you can, you can look at it on different levels. Yeah? We're, we're all you know, trying to get better, healthier, um, more lean, mass, whatever. You know, similar goals, yeah? you've got to get the job done. Now, sacrifices and habits and things like that are something that, well, you know, a little bit of sacrifice if it gets you to your goal because it's such a bad thing. Now, you know, if it's swinging past the kebab shop and having a chicken chich, you know, from a decent quality kebab shop in the bit of bread on the way to, you know, the kebab shop, well, that's on the way to the pub. That's one step up, you know. There's lots of other things you can do. I mean, you know, there's a whole pool of supplement manufacturers that are dying for your block. Um, you know, there's protein shakes, recovery shakes, that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, it's, the thing is, if you get old, you've got to dial in the nutrition a bit more if you want those things. You've also got to dial in the training. I mean, martial arts, depending on the style you do, um, it demands different things to you. I mean, I do crap very well, I do like you. Very different things, you know, um, very different demands. But what I'd say is, a little bit of maybe, metabolic condition around it, circuit weight training, that type of thing. Weight training is hugely important. It's more important to go through the most as you get on and get from one class to that resistance exercise. So there's nothing better for burning fat off in metabolic condition. Barber and clusters. You know? Power is used, martial arts is used you know, to get to their competition ways they want. You know, but as you get older, your metabolism will drop without you giving out weight training, without you doing that high intensity exercise. Yeah? And, you know, avoid the things. But, uh, you know, it goes back to nutrition. You just don't get the job done. Find a way to make it work. Yeah? Okay. Alright? We've got time for one more question. So, has anyone got that last question? First hand up. Hi guys, um, I'm not sure if you've answered your thoughts in the part way through, but how important is the timing to the macronutrients and the carbs, the fats and the proteins? Because I've been under the impression that you had the carbs in the morning or early in the day and the fats there are on because of the uh, metabolic rate from slowing down. I thought it was personally more of a case of getting nutrients in throughout the day, it doesn't matter when you get it in. What are your take on this? Good question. And um, the first thing you asked was how, uh, how important is it? To answer that quickly, it's of importance but of minor importance. Okay? Now it is true that your diurnal cycle, your daily cycle of the hormones insulin and its counterpart glucagon um, vary. Okay? Um, where they dominate at different times of the day. This is why shift workers can you know, be a bugger to gain weight and lose weight because it takes a few days for it to change over. You know, when you get into the other cycle. Um, and you hear that some people say don't have carbs after four o'clock. Some people say don't have carbs after five o'clock. Some six, some seven, some eight. Well, make up your bloody minds, okay? And also that doesn't answer one point. They never ask the question. It's when you go to bed. Okay, and surely that affects things, okay? This is what really pisses me off about that sort of advice because it's just taking a rule of thumb and it's completely load of rubbish. My advice would be, don't have carbs the hour before you go to bed. Simply, practical reasons, I was like this. Sits on the table and you're in when you're lying, 
it's not going to digest so easily, okay? And that's why simple, that's an simple like protein drink or some cottage cheese or some slow-release protein. Nice and easy to digest. It will be slowly, it won't sit and blow your stomach when you're lying down. Otherwise, keeping a fast metabolism, in my opinion, from what I've read, would be having these small amounts of low glycemic carbs spread through the day, um, which would be the most important thing. It's done on what we were thinking about. Yeah? Let's see if Drew's got a good plan. Uh, slightly different views, but I mean, it's just more of a kind of uh, a difference in emphasis. I mean, with the, the hierarchy of nutrition, the way I see it, you know, calories first, then the foods, you know, the macronutrients, the way you've got them the policies of the food, what's like the food, you know, donuts as opposed to the um, you know, ground work, things and parcels, these types of things. And then, so, then timing after that, yeah. So timing is important, but again, it depends what macronutrient we're talking about, it depends what training we're talking about, the individual as well. Different people have different tolerances for carbohydrate. You know, some people can just eat hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of grams a day and they won't go any faster. Others, if they say they want bread, you know, they'll start eating that. Kind of. But timing is important. It's not the most important thing, as James was saying. So, from my point of view, protein, a little bit of fat, spread that nice and through the day. Good quality carbohydrate, a little bit of each meal. Maybe take it towards the end of the day. If you've, if you've been quite heavy or fat, let's say, it, in the past, then you know you, that may be an idea. But really push carbohydrate at times when your body's going to stick it in the right place. When that insulin sensitivity is high. Like in the morning, around the work. Yeah, that's, that's the number one time you have carbohydrates in my view, doesn't mean you can't have the most work. So, uh, people tend to extremes with nutrition. Atkins, is a really good example. Uh, as I said, the, you know, the, uh, the metabolic diet, you know, no, no carbohydrates in the week, but, you know, you don't have to You just go to keep it sensible and Take a note of what you're doing and what's working for you because there is lots of intended different variations, but there's no rules. Yeah? So it's an answer for the rules. Thanks guys, this is what we've got time for now. We'll be back I think four o'clock now, so I'll change slightly. But Drew and myself will be back with Daz Ball, the UK BFF heavyweight champ. Um, we're still doing the, the talk back to basics because um, Daz can talk about what he did in his early days of training. It's not so much time what he does now, although I'm sure it all will ask those questions. But we are available on the Muscle Talk stand as Healthy Action. If you want to come and ask us any questions, we've got some advice, leaflets, there's plenty going on. Also, don't forget the High Pack stand, which is the back of the Maxi Muscle stand, where we've got the High Pack Diet Books available. Um, we'll be back later today, and we're also back tomorrow. Thank you very much.